I think the agreement uh, between the United Arab Emirates and Israel to open diplomatic relations, to have flights between the two countries, is it's a good thing. Uh, it's good for the region, good for the two countries. Similarly, the agreement with Bahrain, uh, the agreement with Sudan is, is, is more uncertain. Uh, Whoop. We had uh, Dave, we had David obviously uh, in California uh, experiencing an earthquake either that <laughs> or he or dropped his cat, camera or a cat uh, jumped on his cat little cat mittens jumped on his camera and uh, messed it up. Do we have mittens uh, and uh, and David <laughs> Ignatius back there alive from the San Andreas Fault? There he is, <laughs> and he survived. Not a lot of dust plaster on his head. So we can continue. So I, please continue. I apologize for, uh, for being in the midst of that mittens earthquake. Interrupted you. <laughs> So, the uh, the specifics of what Jared has accomplished are, are uh, limited, but but uh, commendable. He never got the big Palestinian peace deal that is the key to unlocking some kind of final settlement. This last trip, I think, as Carol said, is about trying to ease the feud between Qatar and Saudi Arabia. It's something that has uh, made the Middle East uh, uh, poisonous in, in different ways, to have these two energy-rich countries hating each other, blockading each other's airspace has been, has been complicated. The U.S. has its largest military base in the region in, in Qatar. I've been trying uh, this morning and last night to get a, a, some kind of sense of what Jared accomplished on the trip, and, and he, his team just isn't saying yet, uh, waiting for <laughs> announcements in the region. My guess is that they have got some move toward a, a Qatar or Saudi uh, agreement, which which would be a significant regional uh, uh, achievement at the at the end of the of their term. Certainly, it would make, and this is the point I'd note, it would make the Qataris very grateful to Kushner uh, for having helped. And as is well documented, Qatar-related financial entities have been major investors in the Kushner company's properties in New mm. York. Right. So uh, I don't want to draw really? a conspiracy theory here, but... Mm. God. So, yes, so that's a coda. Yeah, you, don't, yeah. you don't have to draw any conspiracy theories. Obviously, Willie, it's the sort of thing that, again, past administrations wouldn't have done. We heard early into the uh, Trump administration that uh, that the Kushners were in financial trouble with their uh, building on Fifth Avenue, 666 Fifth Avenue, and that they were reaching out to Qatar for financial help. Yeah, I mean, that's a matter of fact. We don't know exactly if that's what Jared Kushner was doing while he was over there. We do know he's had a cozy relationship with the crown prince of Saudi Arabia as well. We know President Trump has business dealings in Saudi Arabia. That's all true. Uh, but most importantly, I want to credit David Ignatius with wearing a full suit as we got the full-length view of, of yeah. David. Oh, Even boy. in this era of Zoom, <laughs> a lot of people, frankly, aren't even Joe's wearing pants, wearing. David. So good for you.